Hi guys and welcome to today's vlog. <laughs> this Honda Pilot. It was my grandpa's um, and then he passed away and we got it very luckily and we've had it for three years now and um, we absolutely love this car but now um, it needs a valve adjust adjustment which is going to be um, almost yeah, over $3,000. It's going to be like $3,300 plus tax. So um, we decided it's time to just let it go since it has uh, 207,000 miles on it and it's just older. We decided that it's probably just going to keep popping up with new problems and um, that it's probably just time to let it go. So, um, but on the good news, for the good news, on the for the good news. <laughs> We um, have been car shopping for the past week and we found a car and we are actually going to go pick it up right now. So my dad is in his car. He's going to meet me there because he has some errands to run afterwards, but very, very exciting. Carl is at work, so he can't be there with me today, sadly, but um, yeah, we will, I mean, he'll obviously sit after and he saw it when we were there two days ago. So I will show you whenever we get there. Okay guys, I didn't film at the place because it was a little bit crazy, but I'm driving my new car. So um, we started here. Let me just, I'll just talk to whatever. Well, I can talk to you now. Okay. So we started um, looking, we wanted kind of like a Toyota Corolla. And so we um, test drove that, we test drove Camrys, um, a Prius even, but it was way too small with the car seat. And uh, let's see, we tried a Nissan Rogue. And then we tried a brand new RAV4, Toyota RAV4. And I loved it so much and obviously we cannot afford a brand new car so then we were just shopping blah 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 we decided to just go to the Honda dealership next door to Toyota where we had been looking and they were like we have um, a 2016 Camry and a 2016 RAV4 and I was like no way like so we Tosh drove both. I obviously fell in love with the RAV4. Um, and Carl liked the Camry, but I think he just liked it more for the price. It's obviously um, cheaper than the RAV4. But um, after driving it, working out the numbers, we decided to get the RAV4. So um, obviously, it's not brand new, but it is seriously so beautiful. I will do a car tour here in a little while, but it is so pretty and I love it so much. And this was my first time driving it like outside of the parking lot and I love it. And it has like the Bluetooth connection for your phone, backup camera, all that fun stuff. The like Bluetooth connectivity where you can like answer phone calls and stuff like that. So, Anyway, that is what we got. It's white, which is like the color of car that I wanted. And the inside is black and there's plenty of room for car seats, like so much room back there for the car seat. And obviously a second car seat here in a couple months. So we are so excited and I just love this car already. And yeah, I will have to um, talk more about um, other things whenever we get inside like our car buying experience and shopping and all that so I will let, let you know here in a little bit whenever I get home all right I came home and fed Everett and put him to sleep and now I'm just gonna hang out in bed and chat with you guys um, about kind of our shopping experience for a car and 
all that craziness. So, um, we knew that our Honda was obviously going downhill fast. We didn't want to, like, every new month, every month there was probably going to be something new wrong with it. So, that is why we got rid of it. We traded it in, um, to get some money, obviously, for a new car. And let's see. So we first went car shopping maybe um, Saturday. So it's Wednesday now. I think we went Saturday. I don't remember if we went any days earlier than that. But um, and we decided to just go. Oh, there was a Hyundai Sonata um, that was up for sale at a Nissan dealership. So we're like, let's just go try it out, it looks cool. So we got there and um, and it was already sold that morning apparently. So, um, so the guy was showing us another car, a uh, Toyota Sentra. And then his manager came in and was like, yeah, these cars are like recalled, I can't sell it to you. Um, he was like, I can, but I'm not supposed to, and I wouldn't do that to you. It's like a total recall on the car. Not sure what's wrong with it, but um, so then he was like, I do have a Nissan Rogue that you guys can try. So we drove it, and we loved the size of it, the space, like, um, and the back was great, and um, but. And the color was weird. It was like, it's called Midnight Jade. I guess they don't make it anymore, but it was like kind of more browny black than it was like, isn't Jade supposed to be green? But it was like kind of browny and weird. Um, but so we drove that and then we started talking to the guy and the manager came in and he was like pushing really hard for us to buy this car. And he was like, um, I'll give you... 2400 for the Honda and you don't have to do anything down zero down if you do it right now like really like and this was the first car that we had like test drove or like the first place we'd even been to and he was just like we just got weird vibes from him like super pushy really annoying like like I felt like he wasn't supposed to be at like a major dealer I felt like he was supposed to be like at one of those like just off the side of the road like you know dealers that really really want your money so we just felt really weird there we left and my dad was like yeah also they're like throwing in all these random numbers like a extra fifteen hundred dollars for no reason and we were looking up reviews on google about this place and people were saying the same thing like i bought a car and whenever i got home then i realized they like added all these extra fees and blah 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 so we were like, yeah, we do not feel good about that place. So we did not go back there. So then Monday um, evening, let's see here, or was it Saturday? Saturday night, we went back out with my dad for a little bit. We ended up just going to one place. We went to a Toyota dealer and asked if they had anything. Met the nicest guy, um, sales guy who was trying to find us something, but there was nothing in our price range. The closest thing that they had was like $18,000, which was like obviously way over our budget. Um, and we were trying to stick in like the under 15,000 range. So um, didn't have anything. So let's see, we went home. And then Monday, he called and he was like, guys, I have great news. There's a car here for you to try. It's it, right in your price range. It was like under $10,000. So we went and it was a little Prius. We really tried because it would have been awesome for gas mileage and the price was like perfect. Um, but we were both just so uncomfortable with the car seat in the back. It was just so, so tight. Wouldn't have been good for us. So... We decided to just walk next door to Honda just for fun. And um, they showed us, like I said, they had a Camry and the RAV4. 
So we test drove them. We weren't, weren't thinking anything of it. We like had the funnest sales girl. She was like just having so much fun with us and she was so funny. Um, so we were just driving them. And then um, the guy next door at Toyota was like, just come back, think about it. See if we can make the Prius work. He was really nice, but obviously it was just way too small for a family. My brother has this. It was a Prius C, so it's even smaller than the, the real Prius. My brother has that car, and it works like awesome for him and his wife, just the two of them, obviously, but with a big car seat in the back too soon. It just was not going to work for our family. So unfortunately, we did not buy from him like we wanted to, but... Um, we did end up obviously loving the RAV4 and um, she was like it's going to take a couple days obviously for them to service it and make sure that everything is good to go. So we, um, yeah, it's now Wednesday. So that was on Monday that we were back there again, um, that we were back at Toyota and Honda and yeah we found that one and we absolutely fell in love with it so it's a little bit windy but maybe i'll go do a quick car tour for you guys right now let me turn the brightness down so it's not blinding you but yeah that was kind of our experience obviously i'm glad that we went to somewhere bad first so that we could see like okay that's obviously not going to be good for us like and the guy was just so sketchy. So I'm glad that we ended up not going with them. But yeah, let me go outside. Honda, like most amazing people. They were so awesome and treated us so well. Never felt pushy or anything. So that was really good. But let me go outside. Oh man, it's so bright. Please adjust. Hello. There we go. Okay. And I'll show you a new car. Okay, it's actually the next day that I'm filming the car tour because yesterday it was so windy I could not even film anything. But this is what it looks like. So cute. So, again, it's the 2016 Toyota RAV4. And yeah. Let me cover the license plate. But this is what the back looks like as well. So, now I will show you inside. So up front, so it's all black inside, which looks so nice. And it smells so good. Alright, so, um, when you look here, it has, so this is where you can like answer phone calls. Um, turn the volume up and down. Let's see, here's cruise control. And then whenever you actually turn it on. So there's a little screen. Um, oh, and it's touch screen. And then, let's see, so you can connect your phone to it. My phone is inside, so it's not going to connect to it. But then it shows you like how much more you have till empty and show you like the kind of range you're getting. Um, gets pretty good gas mileage. And then let's see here. So whenever you put it in reverse, it has the backup camera, which is super nice. And then let's see here. I'll show you. Here's a gear shift. Here's there's two cup holders. This one actually holds my hydro flask, which is amazing because um, I'm used to it spilling all over the place. So that's fun. And then here it also shows you um, whatever the miles, which obviously has not been reset. <laughs> and then it's very cold outside. 63 right now. It feels really cold. And then, yeah, so that's nice. It's just a little screen right there. Here are the vents. Vents, vents. They close all the way, which is nice. Um, I don't know what else to show you up here. There's also, like, obviously, like, a little cup holder here. Barefoot. <laughs> but let me turn off the car, and I will show you 
what the back looks like. Not very exciting back there, but I just love the white color. It's so, so pretty. Um, back here, I guess Carl took out the car seat, but we have his car seat in the middle and then there's his mirror. But seriously, so much space. Like, this is where Carl usually sits, which is further back than I sit. And I still have so much leg like, space. So this is gonna be perfect for two car seats. So that is super nice. There's also a cup holder here. And then also in the middle here, there's two more cup holders, which is awesome. Which obviously we won't get to whenever there's the car seat in the middle. But whenever um, baby boy is born, then we'll have this free. And then last thing is the trunk, which is pretty good size, super good size actually. Really big. So obviously car seats, I mean not car seat, stroller. Um, we travel lots so of suitcases and then these can also go down. So that will be super nice if we ever have to move again in the future. Um, after we're in Utah or whatever so that is the new car and it's so nice it also has this cute little handle here for you to pull down so it is the um what's it called Toyota SE uh, no LE SE is lower I think not too sure but anyway that is our new car all right guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.